Okay, this is another Pagan Perspective response video I have to make on the question we had um, two weeks ago about the broom closet. I really liked Cole's video and it's not because I have a bias there and if you know what I'm talking about you'll understand but because it's true what he was saying and it's just how I generally feel that um, why should we have to come out of this so-called closet um, when if you have faith and trust in yourself and self-identify and self-acknowledge yourself you've never really been in a closet it seems that the closet is just kind of this dark place where things are just put away that people don't want to acknowledge or work with or deal with and if you've always been open and always been accepting about who you are what you practice and what you believe you've never been in a closet you've a closet couldn't contain you. It's it's more that people just don't want to deal with stuff that is uh, like confronting to them um, is out of their general periphery of beliefs or understanding, and they may even just find it fearful. But if you are comfortable and you are um. Yeah, comfortable. <laughs> if you're comfortable and if you're aware about who you are and what you are and what you believe and what you do, then you don't have to worry about this closet information or anything like that. Um, the, I have got a story about the first time I ever told my parents I was... At the time I was Wiccan, but it was when we were filling out this form and paperwork here that we call the census that I don't know if it gets done everywhere in the world, but pretty much, I think it's every four or five years. We just recently did one. Um, I talked about it in a video about the Pagan Dash program or the Pagan Dash campaign. But um, this was, yeah, back in, I think, ooh, 2002, maybe, um, filling out the forms about religious beliefs of those within your family. And dad asked me, and I just literally said, I'm, Wiccan and then that's when the talks and discussions all started and yeah I wasn't really closed or closeted to them about my practices or beliefs um, but it was just kind of the time when I started self-identifying as that but I think if you have um, any issues or any worries about that don't um, there's a lot of people on here I know a lot of people that at work, they're not as open about um, their religious beliefs because they may work for institutions or companies that may be Christian, Catholic, uh, Abrahamic, like sort of thing, orientated that um, aren't as accepting about religious beliefs or tolerant about religious beliefs that are not conducive to what they have. And um, it's just more about, it's not so much about coming out of the closet, it's just being wary and careful that not everyone is going to have a positive reaction about it. But if you are going to be sharing what you are and what you believe, understand and know what that is. Um, I'm going to post a link down here below for um, the Pagan Awareness Network Australia, which have brochures and pamphlets on information about what is a witch, what is a pagan, um, what happens in circles, um, what Skyclad is. Um, it has legislation on blades for New South Wales, but it's just got general information about it. Um, and yeah, just information that if you are confronted with someone saying, like you may be wearing a pentacle and they may say, oh, you're a Satanist. And it's not getting on the defensive. It's having an understanding and knowing what you are so that you can easily explain to them and increase in a um, awaken their awareness because ignorance can be the the hardest weapon that we have to deal with, the hardest barrier we have to get over because ignorant people enjoy their bliss and once they become aware and open about other options, other information, other choices, it can disrupt their views and challenge their understandings there as well so pretty much yeah um know your information 
know who you are. Um, don't ever get flustered, upset, or angry if anyone challenges what you believe. Keep a level head, keep calm, and stick to your guns. And the best tool that you can have is knowledge. And that's all I pretty much got for you. So much love and blessings and blessed be. Bye.